Hey everybody, George Chamberlain here watching your dollars on this Thursday morning, the 24th of, uh, of May. Uh, we've been kind of focusing on real estate this week and a new report is out from Zillow. Zillow is kind of an interesting company. They, they um, are, have become very popular with their online resource where you can kind of scan your neighborhood and find out what homes in your neighborhood are selling for and stuff like that. They just came out with a report and it shows that um, um, in the United States, underwater homeowners own uh, owe about $1.2 trillion more than their homes are worth. That's a lot of money, of course. But when you dig through the report, there's a lot of inter interesting uh, little wrinkles to it. For instance, it says that foreclosures uh, are not imminent for most uh, underwater homeowners. Nine out of ten uh, homeowners who are underwater continue to make their mortgage payments on time. And uh, and a, only a, a small percent, 10.10% 10 10 of them, are are as much as 30 or 90 days late on making their payments. The other thing that I thought was kind of interesting was that if you take a look at the people that are underwater with their mortgages, 40% uh, of them are somewhere between 1 and 20% underwater, which means when the markets really start to kick into improving mode, they're going to be they're going to be positive and in relatively short order. Just one other thing real quick here in San Diego County, 35.6% of all homes with mortgages are uh, are uh, have negative equity. Uh, that's a little bit more than the national average, but compare that to Riverside, where 53% of the people that own homes with mortgages have neg uh, negative uh, equity, and in Sacramento, it's 51%. Watching your dollars, I'm George Chamberlain. Have a good one.